Hi, this is William from New Zealand again. I just thought I'd put a bit more detail into my solar panels that I put the clip up earlier. Didn't want to get too technical, but um, I've got 35 panels on the roof here. They all about 295, 300 watts. So it totals a bit more than 10 kilowatts. Um, I've got the first two, the line of the first two strings of panels um, it's 10 plus 10 they each on a um, each on a string on their own 10 on one string 10 on the other which goes into obviously the hybrid the solar x hybrid inverter um, the other fifth the other 15 panels i've got them strung in a sequence of five by three because three of them together times five and um, they go into the studio charge controller and obviously they about 40 volts each so in series three of them would be about 120 volts so they're going into the charge into the charge controller at about 120 volts and that's obviously getting um, transformed and sent to charge the battery at 48 volts so the the ideal of course with all these is to try and get your panels as close to north facing as possible um, the ideal tilts about 25 degrees but you can't always tilt them because um, you you can in some cases tilt them sort of sideways to get them a bit more north but then you've got to watch out for shadowing of one panel onto the other because in very early morning obviously if if any panels raised it could take the very early morning sun away from getting to the one next to it so mine are all northwest facing um, they have elevated some a bit more than others as you can see there but in stringing them together um, they um, basically just got plugs on the back of the panel so you could actually buy them and do them as a DIY the set putting the panels on and actually linking them together is the easy part although there is some high voltage one has to be careful of uh, but as soon as you've got to get down into the house to the charge controllers well that takes a professional electrician unless of course you doing it as a low voltage to charging a battery because low voltage DC doesn't require certification um, if it's under a certain voltage. Um, 48 volts is kind of deemed to be a safe voltage that um, it's, it, I guess it can't kill you 48 volts DC. Um, but that's the formation that I've got. Uh, I'll, uh, uh, all the panels well, all, ser all the, the two banks I've got, the, although they tilted slightly different, the yield from the two of them is very much the same. It only varies a little bit in that, in that angle difference. It's not a hang of a lot. And then obviously with these other ones being uh, the way I've got them five times three, um, they've, I've got sort of three, three, and then obviously with there being um, ten here, the tenth one here is connected across to the next two of that bank and then those three together but uh, now I thought I'd just be a little bit more technical I didn't want to be too technical in the first otherwise it was above everyone's head but um, you can do a lot of this as DIY but your final connections obviously have to be done by a qualified electrician the minute you start connecting up anywhere to AC current or connecting into your house bye for now